Today, I'm going to show you how to use FileZilla in case some of you are having issues or just want a quick tutorial. So I have here FileZilla and I'm just going to navigate to my flash drive and I'm going to navigate to the directory where I have my hello world file and I located it. So now that I see it here, I'm just going to plug in my credentials that I handed you in class. So I put in the host, the username, the password, and the port. And then just click Quick Connect. And I'm connected. As you can see, I have the .ftp quota file. Just leave that by itself. So just find your hello world.html. Drag it over. Once it's on, once you see it on this side of the screen, that means it successfully uploaded to the server. To check or to view your work on my server, whatever username you had, so if you had, I plugged in the information for user 9. If you go to students.roboxl.com, you get to this page. Depending on which username you have, that, is, that will be your folder. Since I had username student9, this will be my folder. And I click on it. And as you can tell, hello world.html showed up. Now if I click on it, you see the site. However, I'm missing my image. So I'm going to go back to FileZilla and I'm going to upload that earth.jpg file. So here it is on my left hand side. And I'm just going to swing it over to the right hand side. And if you see it over here, it's successfully transferred over. So now I'm going back to Chrome and I'm going to refresh this page with F5. And there it is the earth image and the video. So if I go back, back to students.roboxl.com, delete this. And if I want to check a different student's directory, you can do that as well. Just go to the student number one. And student one has not uploaded any content yet. So that's why none, none of those files are showing up here. But for now, there is some content in Student 9, which I have uploaded my Hello World and my image. And so that's why it's showing up here. OK, let's say you, you want to make a change to the files. You can easily do that. So go open up Atom. Go to File, Open, File. And I'm going to find my Hello World HTML file, which is on my flash drive. I right, navigated to it, and then I just click on it, open. And let's say I want to change my H1 to Hello World, but in Spanish. So, hola, mundo. And then I save it. Okay, so I made some changes to my Hello World. And in order for those changes to be reflected on the web page, what you do is you basically refresh your left hand side. And now it shows the updated version. I'm going to drag and drop this new copy over to the right hand side. And it's going to prompt me the target file already exists. Please choose an action. I want to overwrite the one that's on my server. And I click OK. Once that is done, I go back to Google Chrome and I refresh my page. And I should see Hola Mundo on the top. Once you are done, just click the X button up the top. And you are done. Hope that helps.